What's up guys and gals? I'm your host Mike Pugh of the FPC Virtual Channel and what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get Remix OS on my PC. Remix OS is an actual Android emulator and it's pretty advanced. It has um, Android Marshmallow. I wanted to show y'all folks this part, the resolution. Some people might have problems with the screen resolution for the Remix OS. So if you ever had that type of problem, this is how you would set it up here. If you have a low end computer, you want to go with the lowest resolution, like a Windows 7 computer, Windows 8 or whatever, and eight, nine times out of 10, it's going to be a lower processor. So you, can, you want to go with these lower resolutions. But if you have a high end computer, with a nice uh, NVIDIA GeForce video card, you wanna go for the 1440 by 900, best for full screen mode, especially if your PC has that type of setup. So this is my setup for my PC. If you wanna get, get into your PC settings, what you're gonna do is right click on the screen of your desktop PC or laptop PC. You just go to the desktop area and then display settings. This is on Windows 10. Then you're gonna to go to advanced display settings and that brings you here. So from there, you wanna make sure that you're set at the maximum resolution that's allowed. And this is recommended for your PC. See, so it says 1440 by 900, 1440 by 900. So it's gonna fit. Make sure that they match each other in order to fit for best resolution possible. So make sure you set that up and it applies and mine's is set the way it is and then you can click start. If you don't do it that way, you won't set the right resolution for your actual Remix OS. So let's click start and hopefully this should match and work out. If um, it has any issues, any problems, that means that I'm missing a file or whatever types of files that they require for me to actually have preset on this actual uh, Remix OS uh operating system so if i don't have that on my pc which is my asus my asus computer then i'm have to download it into it asus uh windows 10 it's running windows 10. let's see what it has i'll bring y'all folks back when it's done it's going to take a while all right so it's come up with this screen here and it says remix os player let's go to max we can max it uh, alt plus enter to escape full screen so I have to press alt and enter so here we go time is an illusion loading yada yada patience is bitter but its fruit is sweet almost there so I think it's gonna be an awesome awesome Android emulator because it's running marshmallow um, the Android marshmallow if y'all folks ever used any Android emulators or haven't used any you're gonna get to definitely check out this one to see what works best with it and if it runs really well it's running directly onto my windows pc uh, i'm not using a usb or an, an external hard drive but eventually i'm going to try to use an external hard drive it says right here to select your language so we're going to select the united states user agreement make sure you read all the details for the user agreement all right so I, i'm done with that i'm gonna click i agree and now that leads me to whatever is next. We'll see what's going on. Remix OS, discover and install great apps. Press continue to discover great apps for your device. All apps are free. We're gonna click continue. They have a terms but uh, link that was up there as well. And then these are the different apps that I can install that are popular right now. I'm not gonna install any of those. Then up here it has uh, probably notifications for whatever reason. I don't know what that is. We're gonna click next. And then this one has useful, it says apps that make will make your life easier. So we're gonna click next again, get past all this stuff and then click next again. All right, uh, press install to accept the permissions and install your apps. I don't want those apps. So we're going to uncheck all these. Uncheck. Remove it. Yes. Don't show this message again. Removing this one. Removing this one. 
remove it. And this one, we don't want any of these. So now we're gonna click finish. Activate Google Play. So basically, once you get an emulator, you have to go into your Google Play and you have to log into your Gmail account or Google account, whatever. That's the only way for you to be able to use these Android emulators. So let's do that. Um, in terms of using it, you using your Android emulator, it's emulating that you're using Android on your PC pretty much. So it's like using your Android device, except you don't need your Android device to use it. That's pretty awesome, right? So let's click next, set up complete. And that looks pretty awesome. I like the desktop display. It's pretty smooth looking. And let's hope that we have no errors. We have no problems. With this um, Asus gaming computer, it shouldn't have any problems. I haven't had any problems with any of my virtualization uh, computing issues, things like that. I haven't had anything go wrong so far because this is an Oculus Rift ready computer. Um, let's see. So it looked like it set up a desktop for me. So this is working as a regular operating system within the Windows operating system environment, which is pretty awesome. Um, my face is, or well, my head right here is blocking the Remix OS um, info right here. It has like a little Remix OS on this. So um, you'll see that on the bottom right corner. Let's see what else we can do here. Uh, we're going to go into Android. Who is the Android uh, operating system? What am I talking about? I got to go into Google Play. That's what I'm saying. Let's see. Let's, let's go into settings. Maybe settings will give me something. Wow. It looks like I'm in a whole different computer, right? That's pretty cool. It like literally took over my computer. In order to get out of that, I got to press enter and alt. So settings is not doing anything for now. Um, what's this here? Memory cleanup, volume, input method. And then over here, what's this? Notifications. Um, what's this? Here we go. We want to get into Google Play, Play activation. So we're going to click that. Uh, activate Google Play services. By activating Google Play services, you are solely responsible for the protection of your data and your device. We advise that you back up your data before you activate in case of any data loss. Are you sure you want to, are you ready to activate? So we're going to activate this. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to work and go through. Activate Google Play services. So. Like I said, you gotta have your virtualization on. If you don't have virtualization on, it's not gonna work. So you have to go to your boot before Windows actually comes up. So you'll probably have to restart your computer or shut your computer down. And then when you start it, you press F8 or delete. Nine times out of 10, those are the two buttons that will allow you to access your boot. You go into your boot and then you go to look for your virtualization option. And you have to change that. Once you change that, to enable, it's generally going to be disabled if it's an older computer that has virtualization um, and the VT option available. So once you do that and you enable, you enable that and you enable the VT option, there's two different options that generally going to be shown. Then you'll be fine. You'll be able to utilize uh, this actual OS, this Remix OS. So let's see. Still trying to activate Google Play services. It's taken a little while. Um, I don't know if I need to back out. Can I back out high? Well, in order to back out would be alternate and enter. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm not gonna back out. I'm just gonna take a little time and try to get this thing to go through smoothly. Hopefully it works out and Google Play can be activated. So um, for those who have seen my other videos that I've done, I've done um, Android, emulators for one called Andy Roid or also known as Andy. I did one for um, the Knox app player 
and I did try BlueStacks, but BlueStacks failed, so I didn't actually go with uploading that video. So if y'all folks want to check out those videos, I'm going to put links in the bottom of this video's description area. You can check that out. Um, you can also click the little eye up here or here, wherever. There's going to be an eye in the upper right corner. You can click that little eye, and that will send you to those videos as well. And at the tail end of the video, I'll have some information for y'all folks with links uh, to go to. You can subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with whatever I'm doing with these differing emulators. I'm going to be testing a lot of apps and trying to see what works and what doesn't work. But right now, it's taken a very long time to activate this Google Play services. Let's see, we're going to press Alt and Enter simultaneously. And that just backs it down, which is pretty cool. And I'll take a break. That way, don't have to keep talking. Thanks a lot guys and gals for checking out my video on Remix OS. Hopefully y'all folks learned how to fix your resolution issue for your screen and your PC type. Uh, if y'all folks want to check out the next video on Remix OS, it's going to basically showcase Google Play and a great deal of differing apps. Give it a try and also I'll do an intro video which I should have started with on how to get Remix OS in general check it out so we're here you got these links and you can also subscribe if y'all folks want to choose to subscribe thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next videos peace